Yes, welcome to Bikes of Rye. Thank you for clicking on my video. You join me on what is a beautiful evening. Yes, a bit cloudy, but it is nice and warm. I'm over a place called Woburn. This is a deer park. Don't know if you can see in the distance there. Lots of deer, so we'd have to be careful. Hopefully my bike doesn't frighten them away. Well, let's jump aboard. Yeah, bit of a late one for me actually. But you've got to make the most of it in the summer, haven't you? These late evenings. Just make sure we are recording. Yep, we are. Made it. Made a couple of mistakes before. Oh, listen to that. Made a couple of mistakes before when I've realised I haven't been recording and I've wasted my time. Yeah, this is a beautiful place. This is. Got to take it easy. No, they haven't run away. nice yeah lovely I'm actually nursing a bit of a sore wrist I'll be honest what happened to me a while back actually is I um, was pulling up to a junction so basically my tendon here is very sore so I was pulling up to a junction blind corner on my right hand side and I was going left so I was steering to the left ever so slightly and now I'm looking around the corner the car was flying along and a little stab of the front brake lever with my uh, finger you know from five mile an hour and I just jerked ever so slightly put all my weight on my uh, wrist and now I've got this tendon that is it's just not healing it happens it must have happened like I'd say like two months ago but the thing is of course I like to go to the gym and I lift heavy weights so it's always aggravating and it feels a little bit tender tonight I have been at the gym earlier on so a bit of a post workout ride well it's kind of an extension to a workout isn't it riding this beast <laughs> it's very scenic around here look at this very nice indeed it's quite a surprise sometimes to have such a nice place like this literally on your doorstep you know very uh let's say british isn't it <laughs> you know so yeah it's nice i like it around here actually we are just down the road from oh did you see that i pulled out of that corner in fourth there did didn't quite like it but still done it still managed yeah uh we're just down the road from triumph in woburn uh i wonder if i can spot the 1200 rs the new speed because I am still waiting on them to get back to me it's got to be in there somewhere so I have chased them on a test ride and basically they've told me that there is a software fault with the bike and that Triumph have not seen this issue before and they're trying to work out how to go around you know getting it on the road so interesting isn't it I mean I haven't heard any horror stories nobody's mentioned anything wrong with the bike so I find that quite interesting and I do wonder you know if if that one's got a fault how many other bikes have potentially got a fault it's a lovely bit of road here so I'm gonna just uh, be quiet for a moment and let you enjoy the sound of the bike This road even I could go bad down here but uh, we've got to keep it a little bit YouTube friendly eh <laughs> so uh, yeah man loving life actually loving life it's, it's nice going out of an evening I need to do this more often no 
another bend here. Knock it down a couple of gears, three gears. <laughs> yes, yes to that. I have to say I'm excited for this weekend. I'm actually going out, out. I'm making my way to London this Saturday. I'm going to a music event where it's kind of a like a festival. It's outdoors, which I think is a good thing because of course we are we're still not out of uh, the woods yet with regards to coronavirus. And actually, I haven't had my second vaccine yet. And in order for me to gain entry to this venue, I actually have to do a natural flow test and provide the results to get in, which I think is a good thing. And I think this is going to be like the standard now. Probably, you know, throughout uh, the rest of the year and through the start of next year, it's like the new normal. But things are moving, you know, I'm excited to get out. Who knows, I could have some social anxiety <laughs> being around so many people. But saying that, I went to Bournemouth a couple of weekends back and it was like a heat wave. And there must have been a hundred thousand people on the beach. It was amazing. What an atmosphere it really was. Absolutely loved it. And it's so nice, you know, as human beings, I think we are, you know, we like that social interaction. We don't like to be locked away and, um, you know, kept away from that interaction with humans, that sort of emotional connection, let's call it, right? Regardless if you taught somebody or not, just being around good, positive energy is always nice. Look at this. The sun is beaming. <laughs> oh, yes. We are just cruising around on my bike. And actually, guys, I would ask if you are enjoying the video, how about you drop me a like? And because you've gone and done that, do you know what I'm going to do? You know it. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, nice little bend coming up. You know, this is what I love about this bike. It can be an absolute hooligan. And then when you're going around town, it's just so smooth, and comfortable, manageable, easy to live with. Uh, am I going left here? I think I'm going left. Yeah. No, it's just, oh, it's just a pleasure. It really is. I'm gonna pull out here, sod them. <laughs> Squeeze out. That's how you filter, like a pro. Hey, like a pro mate but yeah this is what i love just chilling like i could do this I, I honestly i could just ride around on it all day uh, it just makes it that that bit more of a pleasurable right is this the perfect road bike you know i question it is it the perfect road bike i mean it's got to be up there isn't it it really has to be you see the thing is right it's like it's a jack of all trades and master of none. It's an all-rounder. I've mentioned it many, many, many times on my motor vlogs, how this is just such an amazing all-rounder. And it's weird, right, to try and then class it as a perfect bike if it's not a master of being a perfect bike. But because it does everything so well, I, I love the fact it's like a 765, okay? It's not the most powerful bike, obviously. There's bikes that will maybe excite you a bit more in a straight line, but the thing is with this, it's like the way it delivers it, it's not ripping your arms out of your sockets, it's not f scaring you to death, and then you've got the soundtrack that goes with it, and the quick shifter, the auto blipper, all that good stuff, the brakes, the suspension, the handling. When you take it all in one package and you go down the right road, oh, it just blows you away. Who's to say though, I'm gonna keep this bike forever? The thing is, I'd love to, but I'm already thinking about getting another bike for next year and I'm thinking, what do I get? Of course, I still need to test ride the speed triple and see what that's saying. You know, that could be an upgrade to this then that could be the perfect bike. But listen, I keep saying that this is a perfect bike, right? There is no bike that is perfect. However, I would say, at this moment, this bike is perfect for me. Yes to that. <laughs> See the soundtrack? 
track as well. It's just, it's so addictive. Oh, we've got some beautiful scenes. Again, this is a joy of riding. You're just free. You know, I've just taken two hours out of my evening just to unwind and <sighs> smell the fresh air, listen to my triple sing, and just have a complete vibe. Just pulling into a place called Dunstable Downs. Oh, what have they done here? Oh, okay. Some bullards in place. Yeah, I just fancied coming here tonight, you know? I just fancied popping down here. I'm gonna go where the ice cream van. It says ice cream van parking only, but I'm only gonna be here a minute. Yeah, look at this, eh? This is this is what it's all about, isn't it? Someone's flying a kite. It's cool, isn't it? Very pretty, beautiful evening. Actually, you could probably get a sunset here if you stayed long enough. So yeah, guys, how about you comment below? Is this a perfect motorcycle for you? Let me know. Comment below if you do own one. Be interesting to know your thoughts, your opinions. I absolutely love mine. As I said, it is a perfect motorcycle for me. So yeah, that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, again, please drop me a thumbs up. It would be much appreciated. And I hope to see you on another one very soon. See you later.